Well, as you just saw, one of my favorite product lines is Dr. Hauschka. Who is Dr. Hauschka? Uh, it's more than just a name on a bottle. It's a fascinating skin healing approach developed in the 50s and 60s by Dr. Rudolf Hauschka who, in Germany, who believed that plants' natural properties should be used to help everyone look and feel their very best. Joining me here today is Susan West Kurtz, who is the president of the board of Dr. Hauschka Skin Care. And, uh, also, the author of a very interesting book, Awakening Beauty, the Dr. Hauschka Way. Welcome, Susan. It's very nice to have you Thank here. You. It's and to um, be here. Uh, well, as you know, I, I really am a fan of all your yes. products. And uh, and just the other day, I went into Air Yoga, my, a new yoga studio uh -huh. in Cross River, New York, and uh, Basil sitting right in the front row, the proprietor, and he has all the Dr. Hauschka products there. And I was so happy to see that because he understands the healing properties mm -hmm. and the soothing properties of all your products so I'd just love you to tell us a little bit about the philosophy and 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 uh, why they work so well okay well dr. Rudolf Hauschka was a scientist who studied the connection between nature and the human being and after studying that he developed a whole series of medicines and skin care that promotes health rather than attacking disease and that sets us apart. We look right. at everything differently. Right, so you're not a cure, you are a prevention. We're a healing. Yes, uh, and a healing. It, well, it also cures, but yeah. it's by healing. Yes. So we look at the world differently. We approach skin care through the function of the skin rather than just the symptoms of dryness and oiliness. And so you talk about four temperaments. And I must say I was very disturbed because my temperament is not the best. Oh, all temperaments <laughs> have very positive qualities, when they, but the, when they get out of balance. So tell us about the four. Uh, well, there are four temperaments. There's the choleric, which is a very dynamic. Comes from the word colic. No. Angry. No, 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 no. It's fire. It's the fire element. Oh, okay. So it's a leader. It's dynamic. It's stamina. It gets the job done. When it goes overboard, it forgets to take care of itself and personal relationships. Right, so when you're tired, you don't go to sleep. You start bossing your that's right. goldfish you, you, around that's it. That's right. So you have to <laughs> calm down with lavender. Lavender. Yeah. So that's the calming That's very calming herb. and soothing to anything red or inflamed or capillary. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's good. That's yeah. excellent. And then the next temperament is the melancholic, who's very sensitive and compassionate and empathetic and kind of takes care of the choleric. And they benefit from rosemary, which is really fiery. It's a very fiery plant. So it plant. speeds them up a little it bit. It speeds yes. them up a little And we'll, we'll go through that okay. when we see the plants. Uh, one of the important things to remember about Hauschka is beauty begins in the garden. And we have biodynamic gardens in Germany that we've been committed to biodynamic agriculture for over 50 years. So you get the highest quality ingredient possible. So you grow something for the phlegmatic temperament too, yes. which is a slow temperament, right? The slow temperament is very watery and gets sallow and a little bit wet skin. And so we use lemons, biodynamic oh. lemons, because that's very toning and uh, creates elasticity. Should that person also drink lemon water? Absolutely. Yes. That will flush out the um, liver and it's it's wonderful. It's a it's a medicine in food as you know. And that's the fourth temperament. The sanguine. The ah. sanguine is the butterfly, the life of the party, <laughs> interested in everything and has trouble committing and finishing projects. And so they would benefit from spruce. Oh good, I'm going to put a lot of spruce around here, guys. <laughs> Lots of spruce. <laughs> but actually, um, how can we help our skin? I mean, it's, uh, it, this is serious stuff because well, we want to look good and we want to, we want to um, have no problems with our skin even because it is the most visible part of us. What you have to remember is the skin is connected to everything that's going on inside. Mm -hmm. So with Dr. Hauschka's holistic approach, you're looking at uh, the internal health and the outer beauty is intimately connected. And that involves your emotional well-being as well. That's why we talk about the temperaments and right. give you self uh, diagnostic t tools that then allow you to use healing substances very specifically. So you talk about healing beauty also. That's part of being a holistic lifestyle. It's everyday matters. It's bringing rhythm into your life in whatever way you can. In your daily protocol of cleansing, the quality of how you touch your face, the uh, importance... Now how many of you in the audience would go to bed with your makeup on? I mean just some people very do. Good. See that's, that's not good. It's go. not good, but not many people no, do. No, that is very. Uh, that is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because uh, that's, that's not uh, 
cleansing. It's not, it's not it's cleansing. It's purifying. But important before you go to bed, you might even consider journaling because that's in a way also good for your skin because you're digesting your day, you're integrating your experience, and that's working on your inner life. So you'll learn all about that when you read this wonderful, wonderful book. And when we come back, Susan's going to show us how to combat skin problems using healing plants in your bath. Stay tuned.